The thesis of the book is that Dietrich Bonhoeffer was consistently committed to what he referred to on rare occasions as pacifism, but often articulated in ways that were consistent with pacifism, from 1932 to the end of his life. That's the first point that we argue in the book, that all of the texts, uh, beginning with lectures he gave in 1932, uh, to letters and papers in prison from 1944, all are consistently articulate his views about loving enemies and renouncing violence. Consistent with that, we also argue that he was not, it's highly unlikely he was involved in attempts on Hitler's life, and that in fact, what we see consistently from 1932 to the time he was uh, arrested in April of 1943 is that he was both advocating conscientious objection and effectively living out his life as a conscientious objector, again, until he was arrested in 1943. So those are the two uh, theses of our book, which are argued both by looking at his life in three chapters uh, and then looking at his writings in the rest of the book.